Okay, guys, we are looking at the nth root and rational components. Shh. The nth root and rational components. Okay. Evaluating the nth root, so there's different roots. There's like the square root, the cube root, fourth root, fifth root, okay? We're going to evaluate the nth root of real numbers using both radical notation and rational exponent notation, okay? For any integer n greater than 1, if b to the nth equals a, then b is an nth root of a. An nth root of a is written as the nth root of a, that little square root sign with a little n right there, a inside, where n is the index of the radical, okay? Let n be an integer greater than 1, and let a be a real number. So if n is odd, then a has only one real root. So if we say the nth root of a, it can also be a to the 1 over n. I know that's kind of hard to see, but it's on your paper. Okay? Shh. Just answer the door, please, because we've got to move on. Okay, if n is even, then a is greater than 0. Okay, we've got to stop side conversations like I asked. Okay, if n is an even number, then a has two real nth roots, plus or minus. Like I said, if we took the square root of 49, that actually are two answers. We've got 7 and negative 7, because a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, if n is even and a equals 0, then a has one real root. Okay, if you take any 0 to anything, it's going to be 0. And if n is even and a is less than 0, then a has no real roots. Okay, so these are just little roots, rules about them, and we'll talk about them more as we do this. Okay, so we're looking at find the indicated nth root of a. So a is 16, so we're all setting them all up. Like here's the nth root. Please stop talking. a is the number inside of our radical. Okay. So, if a is 16, we're going to put 16 in the inside, 2 on the outside. That means it's the square root, okay? So, what is the square root of 16? What times what gives us 16? 4. And remember, it's 4 or negative 4 is our answer, okay? So, we have two answers here, 4 or negative 4, okay? All right. Now, we've got... The nth root, so n equals 3 and a equals negative 1. So now we're talking about a root right here. Inside this radical is negative 1, but it's to the third power. Okay? So what times what times what? We need three things. We need 1 times 2. Three things gives us negative 1. Okay. So 1 times 1 times 1 gives us 1, right? But we need a negative. So what if we made them all negative? Negative times a negative is a positive. But then if we times it by a negative, it becomes a negative. So the third root of negative 1 is negative 1. And because it's an odd, just like we talked about up here, because it's an odd, it only has one answer. Shh. Stop having side conversations. Put down your phone. Write down what I'm writing down. Thank you. Okay, now this is the nth, n equals 4, and a equals 16. So remember, again, we set it up. We have that little funky radical looking thing. But right here on the outside, this is to the fourth power. So we need four things to give us 16. Okay? Four of the same number that gives us 16. So let's talk about this. Let's try 2. So 2 times 2 is? 4. Times 2 is? 8. Times 2 is? 16. How are we going to make it negative? Oh. All right, so let's make them all negative, because they all have to be the same thing. It'll end up being a positive, right? We can't. They all have to be the same thing, right? So. Whenever we have a negative under a radical where we're taking it by an even root, we can say it's to the i. 
So we have 2i, and we're going to talk about that more in the future. Those are like those invisible numbers, imaginary numbers. Okay, 2i, because that takes out that negative 1, okay, to make it negative. Yep, it's an i for imaginary. Shh. No, you do not. I'm just making it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not 2 to the i, 2 times i. Okay. Shh. Let's focus. Okay. For d, we have 125 to the third root. So we need three things that makes up 125. What do you guys want to try? Well, 18, or no, it's going to be higher than that. Okay, so we're looking, remember, 1 times 1 times 1 gave us 1, right? Yeah. 2 times 2 times 2 would give me what? 2 times 2 is 4, eight. times 2 is eight. 8. Okay, so let's think. We want the same number 3 times to give us 125. 5. five. five. So if we go 5 times 5, we get 25. 25, and then 25 times 5 is 125. So my answer is 5. And it's odd, so I only have one answer. I can't do a positive and a negative. Okay? All right. Now we're going to take 0 to the third root. 0, right? 0 times 0 times 0 is still 0. We're good. All right. We've got 49 to the second root. This gives me what? 7 or? Negative seven because it's it. Excuse me, because it's an even number. Okay. Okay. Shh. Now we're going to evaluate the expressions with a radical exponent. So these are exponents. We've got a two and a three right here. Now if we look right here, it kind of shows us. So we've got a to the one over n. We know that goes in the inside to the A, and the N goes on the outside. So the bottom goes on the outside. So if we look at this, we're looking at this. We've got 27 squared to the third power. Okay. The number on top goes with the 27. This number on the bottom goes on the outside with my fraction. Okay. So let's solve this. What is 27? You can use your calculator. 27 times 27 is... 729. Okay. So what times what times what is going to equal 729? Yeah. So let's talk about 27. Three times what gives me 27? Oh, let's see if that works. 9 times 9 times 9? 9. So 9 times 9 is 81, times 9 is 729. So the answer is 9. Remember, it's an odd root, so we only have one answer, so it can't be positive or negative. It's just that. Okay, so now we have the square root, not the square root, the cube root of 343. All right. Now it says evaluate these expressions without using a calculator. <coughs> okay. So we need to figure out something when we multiply it by itself three different times gives me 343. So do you guys see how there's a three at the end of this? Yeah. So we know it's got to be like an odd number, right? Right. It can't be two. It can't be four. You know, those won't work. So let's talk about this. Well, it's not one. We know it's not 9, okay? So what's a number lower than 9 we think we could try? 7. seven. So if we go 7 times 7, we get what? 49. Okay, what's 49 times 7? Oh, interesting. So the answer is 7. Yep. Okay. So... I know that it has to be an odd number. It can't be like 2 or 4, okay? So then I'm thinking, okay, I just did 729 over here to the third power, and I got 9. So I know I'm going to try an odd number, so I'm not going to try 8. 
but I'm going to try a number less than that. So the next lowest one. Was 7, and so that worked. Oh. It might not, like, if that didn't work. Well, I know it doesn't end in a 5, so I can't try 5. It doesn't end in 5 or 0, so that wouldn't work. So I might try 3 next, you know? Okay. I think this is the last one, Jalen. Please open the door. <laughs> okay. 81. 81, negative 3 over 4. Shh. So we're looking like this. We're going 81 to the negative 3 to the fourth. Okay? So this negative 3 is a little bit confusing. We can't have a negative 3. Okay? So what happens, that is if there's a negative in front here. This is just a negative exponent, so this looks like this. It looks like a fraction. Okay? It looks like a fraction. All right? So, 81, what goes into 81 evenly, guys? Nine. Nine. Okay, okay. So, let's first figure this out. 81 to the third power, so 81 times 81 times 81 times 81 is a huge number. Okay? So we're going to end up with, shh, we need something, this is all over one, that when I multiply it four times gives me this big number. What is that number on the bottom? Five, you put it in your calculator, 81 to the third power, 81 times 81 times 81, and you get 531,441. 531,000. 531441. 531441. Okay? All right. Shh. No, we're not done. No. Okay. So I know that 9 goes in here. Okay, so, but if I go 9, if I have 1 over 9 in my calculator, 1 divided by 9, and I times that by itself 4 times, what do I get? So go 1 divided by 9 in parentheses. Shh. And you're going to do it four times. Do I get anything near that? It seems a little low. Okay. What else might go in there? I know 9 is going to go in there evenly. Why don't we try, like, 18? So 1 divided by 18 to the fourth power. Okay, that's closer. I get 104,976. So what else is, what's bigger than 18 that's still divisible by 9? 27. 27. So let's go 1 divided by 27 to the fourth power. Oh, that works. So 1 over 27 is my answer. And this is an even root. So it's 1 over 27 or one, negative 1 over 27, right? It's 1, either one of those. All right, let's turn this over. Okay. So we've got two more easier examples of this in the back, and then we're going to talk about how to approximate this with a calculator and put it in for a calculator, okay? All right, 32. Okay, the fifth root of 32 is the same as going 32 to the one-fifth. Okay, what times what times what times what gives you 32? So let's talk about this. We know that it is an even number, correct? So I think when it's an even number, let's start with the smallest even number. Two. Two times two is? 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 So my answer is going to be two. It's an odd number, so it's got to be positive. Yep. Okay. The cube root of negative 8 can also be written as negative 8 to the 1 third. I just want you guys to know that you can go the opposite way. If there's no number being taken to this, it's 1 over whatever that is. Okay. All right. So what times what times what? 8 is, a, is an even or an odd number. Even. So we're going to try 2 again. Let's see if we can do it with negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is? 
Positive 4 times a negative 2 is a negative 8, right? So my answer is negative 2. Okay. So we've got the cube. We've got the square root of 36 cubed. What's the square root of 36? What times what gives me 36? 6. Okay. And then 6 times 6 times 6 gives me 216. Because I did 6 times 6 times 6, like I just said. Okay. All right. Let's look at how to put this in our calculator. Okay? Okay. So here's my calculator. So I want to use the fourth root. Okay? And there's really two ways to do this. One, I'm going to push my control button and I'm going to push the little uh, carrot button next to the 4 and it asks me right here what root it is then and so then I can put 4 and in the inside I can put 252 we got to stop talk we call it a little carrot button it looks like this because it kind of looks like a carrot coming up out of the ground and then you push enter and it does it for you. And it wants us to round to three decimal places, so I'm going to put 3.98. You guys have to stop talking while I'm teaching. If you have a question, raise your hands. Stop the side conversations. Put your phone down. Turn your music down or off. Try and record this, trying to teach you something new. Focus. Okay. B. So again, you want to push that little carrot button. Control first. You're going to put three. And then you're going to put in the inside negative two, one, one, one. Enter. And I get negative 12.828. So I'm going to round to H3. Same thing right here. I'm going to push, again, that button right under the equal sign. Control first, and then we put 3. Inside, I'm going to put 56, but then I'm going to put parentheses around everything. Push that little caret button again without the control and push 4. And I'm going to get 214.25. Just rounding to two decimal places. Okay, why don't you guys try the next three on your own? Just D, E, and F. Try those on your own. Then we'll go over the answers. And then we'll go back. You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> So if you want to get that funky little thing up, you can control and then this, and then you can enter. 
Okay. So I need your attention again in five, four, three, two, one. Silence, please. Shh. Okay. So for D, you should get 196,000. So 1960000. For E, you should get 3.55. And for F, you're going to get 5. Notice how the cube root cancels out it when it's cubed. Okay. We need to do the bottom of these because your homework, your last um, like eight problems are all like this. Okay? So let's look at A first. All right. It says x to the fourth equals 84. Do you guys remember how if I have like the squared of 16, what do I do? What do I do if I have x squared equals 16? Shh. You square root both sides, right? And I get x equals 4 or negative 4. Yeah? Is that like sparking a memory? Okay, so if we have x to the fourth equals 84, we're going to take the fourth root of both sides. Okay? Then we just place this in our calculator. So we're going to again push that control, that funky little carrot button, push 4, and then 84. And then I'm going to get x equals 3.03, because we're going to round to two decimals like it says. Or x equals negative 3.03. .03. I have to do that negative because it's an even number. If it was an odd, I could just have one answer. Okay? B, what do I need to do first before I can take the cube root of this? I need to divide everything by 2, right? 92 divided by 2 gives me 46. So x to the third equals 46. And then I'm going to take the cube root of both sides. Cube root or the third root. Practice placing that in your calculator. And we're going to get 3.58. And it is an odd number, so it only has one answer. Okay? C, notice how this is in parentheses. So I'm going to have to do that fourth root first. So let's do the fourth root. And I get x minus 1 equals, what's the fourth root of 12? It's 1.86. I'm just going to round. And then I'm just going to add 1 to both sides. And I'm going to get x equals 2.86. Now, because it's the fourth root, we could get x minus 1 equals negative 1.86. And then if we add 1, we'd end up with x equals negative 0.86. So we have two answers. Sorry, you can't see that. So remember, once we take the fourth root of something or the square root of something, it can have two answers if it's even. If it's odd, you only have one. Did I lose people? Yeah. Okay. So, we've got, we take the fourth root of both sides. We're okay with this? Yeah. Okay, remember you could have a negative answer too. Because a negative times a negative gives you a positive. Right? And then I'm going to add one to both sides for both of them. One answer is going to be 2.86. The other one's going to be negative 0.86. Negative 0.86? Mm-hmm. Why? Because if we add one to a negative... Negative 1.86 plus 1 gives me negative 0.86, right? Left over? Okay. Okay. Why don't you guys try D, E, and F right now? I'm going to try it too. When I'm done, I'm going to put up the answers. Ha, ha, ha.
I don't know how to do these ones. I know how to do like the first step. Get X by itself, so get rid of everything. So first subtract that one. Divide by two. Minus one, yeah, minus one, minus one. Okay, one more minute and I'm gonna put this up here. <laughs> to get rid of the, that four. So you're going to put a three cube root on both sides to get rid of that cube. Yeah? Yep. Nine times nine is 81. So that won't work. What times? Oh, one? oh, uh. Oh, is it what? You got, oh, you got so to multiply uh, something three times. You can just put oh, your three. calculator. Yeah, three. X equals three. Yep. Okay, this one you got to subtract the one first, divide by three. Now divide by three. Three goes into four one time, right? Three goes into four one time, so put a one down. Got one left over. Three goes into 18, how many times? Yep. Now take the cube root of 16. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to go over it right now, Robert. So you'll see. That's why you got a calculator. It's a decimal. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Shh. I need your attention in five, four, three, two, one. Shh. D is X equals three. Just had to do the third root for it. E is 2.52. And F is going to equal negative 10. E or F, do you guys want me to go over either of those or both? Both. both? Okay. Shh. For E, remember, I'm trying to get this X by itself. So first I'm going to subtract 1 for both sides. I get X to the 3X. Stop talking. I get 3X to the third equals 48. I divide both sides by 3. I get X to the third equals 16. Then I take the cube root, this cube root of both sides, and I get x equals 252. So, guys, when you go home tonight and you say, Miss Murphy, I didn't have a calculator. You got a phone, right? Mm -hmm. So, here's my calculator button I pushed on my phone. I turn it sideways. Okay? Right there, if I'm doing anything with a third root, so if I go 27 and hit the third root, it gives me the answer. Okay? So if I have 16 and I say do the third root, it gives it to me. I just have to round. Okay. So for f, I have to do the third root of both sides. I get x plus 5 equals negative 5. And then I'm just going to subtract 5 from both sides. And I get x equals negative 10. Okay. Your homework, you've got, let's see. You've got 17 problems, but they should go rather quickly. Okay. Breaking all of these up, doing them. 
Great question. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I know. I'm not going to do that. 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 I'